Wouldn't you like to write a story? Don't you wish that you knew how? You could be a famous author. Listen up and find out how. Raining Cats and Dogs. I absolutely love this book. It's by a man called Will Moses, and he is related to a very, very, very famous artist called Grandma Moses, who didn't start painting till quite late in her life, but is very famous. I think she's in museums, and her artistry is amazing. It's filled with all of these well, kind well. of puzzling phrases that we hear, but we don't quite know what they mean. If somebody says to you, it's raining cats and dogs, what does that mean? It's raining very hard. It's raining very hard. But do you know where the phrase raining cats and dogs came from? Well, there are two reasons why this phrase came about. One is from England. And when it got cold, the houses in England used to have straw as roofs. And when it got very cold outside, the cats and the dogs, in order to keep warm, they would burrow themselves into the thatched roofs, into the straw roofs. But when it started to rain really hard, the cats and the dogs would start sliding down the sides of the roof over the eave of the house and past the windows. Oh and so when people looked out the window, it was literally raining cats and dogs. And that's where the phrase came from. <laughs> There's also another place it came from, and that's um, from Norse mythology. And in the Norse mythology, they believed that the cat represented wind and the dog represented storms. But I sort of like the one from England, where the cats and the dogs burrowed into the roofs of the houses, and when the rain came, they came sliding down. And people looked out the window and said, oh my god, it's raining cats and dogs. So that's, oh, I like that. as the old saying goes. So the next time you hear that phrase, you can say, I know where that phrase came from and you can explain it to your mom and dad.